Hello everyone. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to change a ballast on a fluorescent light fixture that is not working. And this fluorescent light fixture, when I flip the switch, the fluorescent tube doesn't work. Make sure you turn off the circuit breaker. That goes to the light fixture. Once you get power disconnected to the fluorescent light fixture, all you need to do is pull the fluorescent tubes out. And be very careful when removing these fluorescent tubes. Just need to twist it with less pressure. Don't squeeze it too hard or it'll break the bulb as you're removing it. And be very careful when removing these fluorescent tubes. And you just need to twist it and it comes out. And you just need to remove this cover. Just need to twist this, jiggle it back and forth until it comes out. And once it comes loose, just need to pull it straight out and you remove the cover that goes to the light fixture. Oh my gosh, what happened to this fluorescent light fixture? I ended up seeing this after I took this cover off and you could see that the one of the wires had burnt. Explain why that the fluorescent light fixture wasn't working. Or not just that, a burning smell was incensed. That was just going to be my bathroom fan in my bathroom that I was assuming that was going to burn out in my bathroom. Appears enough wasn't my bathroom fan, so I ended up finding this after I took it apart. Because I had never seen this fluorescent light fixture burnt like this. This is like a fire hazard. Even if this was burnt like this with the burnt wires, it should have tripped the breaker. Or to the fact that this, with these ballasts, they're known to should act like a fuse, but they are known to have a lot of electricity to these wires. And when these wires have load, they can get hot. Or the fact that you should always make sure you replace your bulbs. No replacing one bulb to another as replacing one bulb to another can affect these fluorescent light fixtures over an, a ballast that's old. That can go bad as to putting the wrong bulbs in. You should replace both of them. And I highly recommend you replacing two bulbs, not one. And this happened to me after I replaced the light bulb and it broke my light ballast. It's not good when you see this, we're gonna be replacing it. Which this is a magnetic ballast version because I found that this is appeared to be a magnetic version ballast. So I'm replacing it to electronic and it doesn't matter to which ballast you have, but make sure you're buying the right one for your wire diagrams because this one takes four wires and two wires that go on the side for the power lines that runs for the light socket. Just need to pull the wires out and remove the hot wire. If this doesn't come off, I'm gonna cut the wire and re-splice them. Just when you get your straight flathead screwdriver to pop out this metal bracket that mounts that mounts this wiring socket because we're going to be replacing the actual wire for this. But make sure you take a picture of which wires go to which on the wiring of the ballast. But if you're not sure, you can take a look at the ballast wiring diagram that the ballast give you which will be a whole lot easier reading the diagram of the wires, which I know which wires go to which. So we're gonna be pulling these two wires out and put fresh new ones into the socket. And I just spliced these wires. If you're wondering why there's two wire nuts on this, because I spliced it just to replace these light sockets, but I didn't buy these new light sockets. These are used light sockets that are in good shape, coming out of one of my fluorescent light fixtures in the garage that were in good shape but the fluorescent light fixture I had in the garage stopped working. So I ended up salvaging parts from my fluorescent light fixture, like pulling out one of these sockets. And they actually worked perfectly fine on this fixture because I had broken light sockets on these, so I replaced them. So I had to reuse the wiring. So the wiring did work good and it will work just fine instead of just having to pull this wire out. But we're gonna see if we we're able to pull this two wires out of these sockets and see if we we're able to get it to work. You have two blues, which goes on the bottom. And it's really easy. So it's simple enough that I have these wires. 
pulled out and you can separate them just to see which wires go to which. And this is easy, so make sure you take a picture of them if you're getting confused to which wires go to which if you're replacing a ballast, which I did take a picture of them. If I get confused to which wires go to which, I can go back to seeing the picture of which wires go to which. Once you verify all these wires, you can take the wire nuts off because I just mounted them when I did the light socket replacement. And I didn't do a video on it because it was, it's pure to be easy, but some people say it's not easy, which I think it is if you're impossibly paying attention to what you're doing. Once you remove all the wires that go to the fluorescent light socket, all you need to do is remove this old ballast from the light fixture and you will see this bolt. So you just need to use your adjustable wrench to remove the bolt. By using this wrench socket with an extension to remove this bolt that is mounting this electric ballast to the light fixture. So we're gonna remove it. Once you remove this bolt, make sure you don't lose this because it doesn't come with it when you buy a new replacement ballast. You guys can see I ordered the new replacement ballast on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can get one of these replacement ballast for the fluorescent light fixture. Once you remove the bolt, just need to remove this old ballast from the light fixture. And the old ballast comes right out. Look at all this burn marks that the old ballast did when it burnt out. Guess it's not coming off then. This picture is garbage anyways. Because no matter what, I'm trying to get the light working for now, so I'm just gonna install the new ballast. And get your fresh new replacement ballast and mount it to the slot of the light fixture. Once the ballast is seated against the light fixture, just need to mount this bolt. Make sure you move the wires out of the way so it doesn't get in the way of tightening the bolt. So I'm gonna wrench it down. Make sure it's snug. You just need to get your fluorescent light fixture socket and pull out the old wires to mount the new ballast. Just need to push the small screwdriver in there to get the wire out. I don't know how you do this, but make sure you be very careful not to break these. But if these things break, there's a replacement on for one of these. You gotta be very careful when replacing these because if not, you, get, you end up with a bigger problem with the light socket being the most out of ballast problems. And you just need to remove the wires Once you pull the wires out, just need to mount the new one. Should be some tabs, but yeah, these tabs are locked in really good, giving a good connection so the bolt can work. Just take your time, don't go crazy with these, because if you do, you end up breaking them. And if these things break, there's a replacement for one of these if they break. So yeah, this happened to me once when I ended up having to replace that fluorescent light socket a long time ago. After trying to change the bulb, the socket broke. So I ended up finding a replacement. And they're not hard to find, so there is a replacement for one of these, which I will put a link in the description down below if you need them in case if you have one of these fluorescent light sockets. When these things with the contacts getting broken, you're able to get a replacement. So replacements are not hard to find, but you're going to have to uh, replace the ballast too, besides just replacing the socket. Because if you're replacing the socket, you're going to have to get a new ballast for it. Because the old wiring that goes to the ballast, so this is why you should replace the ballast. Even get a new socket. Because that's what they say, when you have a bad ballast, you should replace the socket too. But I don't think I need to replace the socket, because my sockets are in good shape. And there's no reason for that, unless they are reasonable for these failures, that you're going to have to replace them. Just jiggle them back and forth to loosen them. And boom, comes out. But if the wires break inside, it's easy to pull out. All I just do is pull the, the back of this, of this light socket. And once you do that, you can able to get access to the back and pull the copper out. 
That's what I did to pull it out because this is why I don't recommend. I don't even recommend you doing this because I should have not done that, but I did. So fair enough, I'm able to remount them anyways. All you just do is twist it and boom, comes out. That's simple. Even instead of just jiggling it back and forth. So yeah, you just have to twist it so you can get the these connections off as they're easy to pull out. And they're easy to remove. You just have the wires in the back, just twist them and it comes out. Really simple instead of just having to jiggle it back and forth because if you do that, you just have to be very careful not to break it. So if these things break, there's a replacement for one of these. Once you pull out all four wires of the fluorescent light socket, just gotta make sure you check inside of these uh, pin connections and make sure there's no coppers sticking out because if that happens, it's easy to pull it out instead of replacing these sockets, even if you're getting a new ballast because buying a new ballast doesn't come with a light replacement socket. You're gonna have to buy them separate even if you're buying a replacement ballast, you should buy new replacement sockets as this can actually uh, reduce the issues even with these permanently stuck shut to reduce breaking the wire just twist it as this thing moves it will make the wire come out loose as the wire will come off so you don't have to reduce your chance into breaking this just need to mount the wires to the socket and then click in And connect the blue wires. Once you're done connecting the wires from the ballast, just need to tuck the wires into the fixture and mount the bracket back into the light fixture. You just need to get your spare wire that came out of your old fluorescent light ballast and I jumped it with a longer wire because the new ballast I bought had wires that were not long enough. So it's very handy to have a spare wire coming from your old ballast that you just need to cut and splice the wires and plug it into the back of the fluorescent light tube socket. Just need to plug it in to the light socket and connect another wire. Make sure you have a longer wire so it can work over connecting it to the new ballast because the new ballast that it gives you the wires with that is not long enough for the other socket so it's very important to make sure you have this wire in handy even if you're having an issue with your fluorescent light fixture ballast having the wires that are shorter you have this is a solution that can work having wire nuts connected to another which can extend it a whole lot longer because this is the wires that I have spliced so you just need to plug in another one Make sure it's straight with the connections and connect it to the, this side. Once you do that, just need to connect the bottom wires to the wiring of the ballast. Just need to pop this back to the fluorescent light fixture. Make sure you align those tabs on the fluorescent light fixture. And it clips in. You just need to connect the wires to the yellow wires of the ballast. Just need to move these wires out of the way. You just need to follow the first wire. Once you do that, just tighten the wire nut. Make sure it's tight. Once you're done wiring the ballast, all you need to do is do the hot wire and the neutral wires with those two wires that goes to the ballast. So I'm going to show you on wiring that. You just need to pull out these two wires for the hot and neutral and remove the wire nuts and get your wire for the ballast, which is the black wire for the hot. Get them in. Put your wire nuts on. Just need to connect the hot wires together and then tighten the wire nut and do the neutral which is the white wire an excuse for the messy wire job make sure it's all secured 
which it is. And you're all done. Just need to tuck the wires into the light fixture and make sure they're not touching against each other so they don't short out. But don't worry, if this happens to a fluorescent light fixture shorting out, there's a ground with this copper that's mounted to this metal fixture is going to trip the breaker if you have wires shorting against metal, which it will cause a direct short of tripping your breaker. So yeah, if this happens to you, your fluorescent light fixture having wires that touch against metal, it will send over this ground wire right into the light fixture, which will trip the breaker. As they're known for the safety feature of this fixture being metal to reduce catching your house on fire, which they're known for the purpose of the safety feature. And you just need to pop in this fluorescent light fixture cover back to the fixture. Once you get on the tabs. And twist the locking pin and you're all done. Once you're done replacing the ballast, you just need to install the fluorescent tube to the light socket. All you need to do is turn the power back on to see if this fluorescent light fixture works with the new ballast that you replaced on your fixture. The power's back on. Now let's test this fluorescent light fixture. I'm going to turn on the light switch and you can see we have light and that's how you replace a ballast on a fluorescent light fixture. So thank you very much for watching. If this video was helpful, if it did, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button or notification bell so you'll be notified too. So you will never miss a view that we upload on this repair channel. And have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.